Don't quote me on this, but there was this pen manufacturer who made luxury fountain pens. Guess who they were selling the pens to? Well, they thought that they were selling the pens to the people who wanted to write with them. Makes sense, doesn't it? But no, they were wrong. After carrying out market research, they discovered that people who bought their pens didn't actually use them. Instead, they used them as gifts for other people. That's right, a pen manufacturer was actually in the gift industry. Just thought I'd share that little story, because I found myself in the same sort of situation. My 3 Clicks Philip channel became very popular a while back for tutorials. I was lucky with it. I learned the Source Engine, which has been around for years and has been used for many games. I got my tutorials out early before most people did, and had decent tags, titles and descriptions. My series helped people with the problem that they had, and hence I built a following. And just like anybody who gets lucky first time, the power kind of went to my head. Not in an evil way, it just happened. I figured that I had the best way of making tutorials, and as the years have gone by, I have remade the videos to improve the video and audio quality, shorten the length, and to tweak the content based on years of feedback. Thing is, I did all of this after I became successful for making tutorials. I'm blindly doing what I think is right, and almost using the following I gained previously to say that I'm headed in the right direction. The thing is, how do I know I'm still headed in the right direction? How do I know that people want shorter, simpler tutorials that cover the bare minimum of what you need to know? I don't. It's what I would want, and I make it because of that. I don't think I'm capable of tutorials in any other way. If I find myself getting bored of my own video, then I'm doing something wrong. And then it hit me. I let my professional style slip with a simple, accidental joke. A tree. When compiling a map with different weather effects, I accidentally moved a tree prop. A hundred of them placed together. No, bad tree! His and hence the tree theme of my position. channel was born. Have Since then I have started adding little end bits to my videos where the tree attacks the player in random ways. See where this is going? If not, here's one more hint. A lot of people comment saying, I don't need your tutorials anymore, but I watch them because they're funny. Yep, I'm not doing tutorials anymore. I'm in the entertainment industry. I feel that people still watch my tutorials because of the entertaining little bits I throw in. I get more people laughing at the mistakes and bloopers I include in my videos than I do from the video's main purpose. Most of the originality and memorable content was from a simple mistake that I decided to roll with. It does, however, get annoying when I try to include another sort of joke and people are like, where's the tree joke? Talk about being a one-trick pony. So yeah, there are two parts to keeping people watching my videos. First, I must draw them in. Some people use pictures of boobs or extreme thumbnails and headings. Not that I'd do that. No, never. For Three Clicks Philip, it was the tutorials. People would visit my video for help, but once they were there, I needed to keep them coming back for more. Some people do it with annoying voices and repetitive jokes, but I... nah, I, I just did the same thing. Hopefully more subtly. I find it flattering when people watch tutorials for entertainment. I mean, who gets home after a long day and goes, Oh, I can't wait to watch a tutorial! My style works against me. People say that I miss the important bits, as if the sheer amount of content in the videos determines the quality. Of course, I completely disagree, but that isn't up to me to decide. Top Hat Waffle has become increasingly popular on the tutorial front of things for his long, in-depth tutorials. Sadly, a lot of people have been advised against using mine because I'm silly, make jokes, and don't cover the complex elements of something. Frustratingly, those people just starting out are the ones who would benefit most from my simple tutorials. I hate the idea of scaring people away from a creative hobby by spamming them with stuff they simply don't need. I foolishly confronted the people attacking me a couple of years ago. I tried reasoning with them, working out some sort of agreement, but once people have it in their mind that you're bad, anything you say tends to work against you. I was fighting a lost cause, and because of that I began to troll them. Even now you'll find them using that against me. Apparently I'm an arrogant, self-obsessed person. Yes, maybe I am, but I do good tutorials. I'm pleased that I've gotten that off my chest. I'm frustrated that I haven't been able to repeat my original success with the other areas that I've dabbled in. For all I know, I'm heading off in completely the wrong direction, but I hope this video clears up the way that I think, and what I've learned from years of helping people with problems, and where my tutorials are likely to go in the future. Most people who watch them do so for the entertainment value, which is why I'm making all kinds of videos on all of my channels, trying to find an entertainment style that suits both me and my audience. One that also has potential for future growth. Just for the record, this channel will never take off in that way. I'm sure of that. It's too in-depth and specialised, but in all honesty, it's the one I have the most fun doing. I don't have to hold back. I can babble on about topics that will probably bore 99% of people online, but will hopefully be really interesting for that 1% that cares about me syringing my ears or whatever I'm talking about. I almost make these videos so that if I suddenly get teleported back 10 years, I can pick up from where I left off without having to learn things the long way again. So yeah, take this channel as the inner workings of my mind, as me almost justifying what I do and why I do it. I may say things that are demeaning or offensive to people who view my other channels because I'm not holding back on this one. I've got a series for my 3 Clicks Philip channel planned, which I will be covering on this channel shortly. The beauty with saying what I'm planning to do before I do it is that if it goes horribly wrong, I look like a right idiot, and my logic behind making it in the first place was flawed in some way. 
but it'll be interesting for all of us to see, including me. Let's see how that one goes. Come on this adventure with me. I was hoping to finish with some sort of punchline about the entertainment industry, but just consider it knowledge that will help you with the next video of mine.